On Fridays, we bring you the latest in entertainment news. WFT's Brooke Azaro joins us now. Well, today we are going to spice things up a little bit. The Spice Girls are getting back together again. The group announced their 2019 tour earlier this week. Last time these pop stars hit the road, it was 2008. But this time, the Spice Girls will be a little less posh. Victoria Beckham, also known as Posh Spice, won't be joining the girls on tour. The four remaining members will be spicing up the UK in June. The Billboard Music Awards is calling Ariana Grande their 2018 Woman of the Year. Grande is being recognized for more than just her latest hits. The God is a Woman singer has been an advocate for LGBTQ rights. She also helped raise money for the victims of the Manchester bombing. With all these accomplishments, Ariana Grande has us wondering, thank you, what's next? Well, next on our rundown, we're heading to the movies. NBC's Raphael Seth has this week's box office preview. I'm transferring all of your cash to your wife. He won't have to again. Claire Foy is a defender of damsels in distress in The Girl in the Spider's Web. The crown jewel steps into the role of Lisbeth Salander in this chapter of the Stieg Larsson book series. The punk fatale is hired to retrieve some top secret plans, which leads to a hacker trap in her childhood home. The Girl in the Spider's Web is rated R. I'm going to steal their Christmas. Doctor Strange does Dr. Seuss in The Grinch. This new incarnation of the Christmas classic features Benedict Cumberbatch as the voice of the grouchy green goblin. He's determined to bring the boo-hoo to Cindy Lou Who by stealing Christmas out from under the little girl's tree. The Grinch is rated PG. D-Day leads to the dawn of the dead in Overlord. This World War II fiction follows a group of American soldiers dropped behind enemy lines, but when they hole up in a German-occupied town, they discover the Third Reich's secret weapon, Nazi zombies on crack. Overlord is rated R. I came here today to talk to you about America's future. The greatest showman gets kicked out of the tent in The Front Runner. Hugh Jackman plays Gary Hart, a Colorado senator considered the favorite in the 1988 presidential primaries, until tabloid shots of him with another woman knock him out of the race. The Front Runner is rated R. That's the box office preview. Raphael Seth, NBC News. Well, the Gator Nation has a pretty early wake up call tomorrow morning, but an early game means more time to enjoy local entertainment. Here are some events happening tomorrow. Before the game, head over to the Hale Plantation Farmers Market for their annual fall festival. Saturday night, grab a date and go dancing under the stars at Depot Park. For $5, you can get dance the night away until 9 p.m. If you're looking for a dance scene that's a little more hardcore, though, The Atlantic is hosting their Pop Punk and Emo Night. This dance party will be playing pop punk hits until about 2 in the morning. So we saw a lot of movies. Which ones are you excited for? I'm really excited for The Grinch. I know that they've redone it, you know, a million times, but I'm really excited to see how they do it this time. Yeah, same. And I'm, now I'm really in the Christmas spirit. <laughs> I know, same. Thank you, guys. Thank, Thank you. you.